A local 16-year-old is bringing smiles to seniors' faces one pair of socks at a time. As CBS 13 Sacra Gray reports the teen is gaining some unlikely pen pals along the way. Clubs, gloves, and golf balls. When heading out on the golf course, those are usually some of the essentials. But for 16-year-old El Gianelli, there's another thing to add to the checklist. I play in silly socks. I think it lightens my mood, and it's just a little good luck charm for me. It's her signature look. Every time she looks down, it's a reminder to keep on smiling. In 2020, that reminder was more important than ever. Just a few weeks before the world shut down, Gianelli went on a field trip to a senior living facility. Just a seventh grader at the time, Gianelli was touched by her interactions with the residents. When the pandemic hit, she knew she needed to do something for them. What's something I love that brings a smile to my face and might bring something to others? And that was silly socks. She created socks for seniors to send fun socks to local nursing and assisted living facilities. Two years later, she sent over 3,000 socks to facilities across the nation. She includes a note with each pair of socks, sharing her contact in case any seniors need someone to talk to. Along the way, she's gained several pen pals. And they wanted me to finish the back for them, and so we sent it back and forth to each other. At just 16 years old, Gianelli has been featured in TV interviews, even appearing in People magazine. But the reward of socks for seniors is much more than that. In hearing like the response, hey, I just wanted to let you know that you know that gentleman we posted yesterday, he passed away today, and the last thing he was so excited about was that little pair of socks. For Gianelli, it's about showing these folks that someone still cares. You never know what someone's going through, so maybe something really small, such as socks, can do something for someone, or me writing back to them knowing that they have someone and that they're not alone and they'll get through it.